Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my life. I am so sorry I haven't been uploading that much. I've just been focusing on some other things. YouTube sometimes just takes over so much and then the other things that I'm supposed to be doing kind of just get put to a side and then all of a sudden I have like so much other stuff to do and then I can't do YouTube so I'm just trying to find a balance to be able to get everything done. So thanks for your patience and bear with me because I will eventually get there. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into a whole spiel, but I just wanna say thanks for being patient when I do go on my little MIA trips. But uh, anyway, I'm back today, gonna do a quick eyebrow tutorial. I've been getting a ton of people ask me to do an updated brow routine. As I said in the video, I'm, I haven't done any new techniques Really, I still do the same techniques, but I have been using different products and I have been using these products for a good few months now. So I felt like it was a good time to kind of share the new products that I've been using because they have been working really, really well for me and I'm really happy with them. And I do get a lot of questions about what brow colors and products that I use. So here you go with all the newness. Anyway, if you want to see how I do my brows, please keep watching. If you can see, Lots of eyelash glue in my eyelashes, just ignore that. Because I am going to film a couple of lash videos after I film this brow video. One of my videos I want to film is like removing lash glue. So if you see any chunks of eyelash glue on my lashes, just try to ignore that. I didn't take it all off for the reason being that I'm going to film a video of how to take it off. So as you can see, I have little non-shaped brows. I do kind of remove the ends of my brow because they come down too low and I just don't like the shape of it so I kind of remove this little bit so I can like elongate my brow the way I like it so I have filmed videos before on my brows I still do very similar techniques but I have been using different products lately and I've been getting like a lot of requests to do a new brow video for some reason so I decided to just to show you the new products that I'm using and just do an updated version of my brows. So what I've been using is the Cabrow from Benefit. So it's just like a little brow cream pomade. I don't know what you want to call it. Cream gel brow color, that's what it's called. So I use the shade number two. For my brush, I like to use small angled brushes like this. But lots of brands have different types. This one is a dose of colors. I do like this one because it has a little spoolie at the end, which makes it a little bit handier. But um, most of my other brushes are just the brush part. MAC has some, like a 263, a 266. Zoeva also has another one. Is it a 317? I could be wrong in saying that. But it looks exactly like this. So any brush that looks like this works for me. So I'm just going to start by just combing my brows up. So I have no little hairs that's going to be in my way. And then going in with the, the brow. And I'm just going to start by carving out my line for underneath my brow. I'm not going to start right at the front. I'm going to start probably like a quarter of the way into the brow. Because I want to make this softer. So start probably around here. So I'm just going to draw the line. Like so. And then once you're happy with that line, I'm just going to go down into my like wing of the brow. I don't know if a wing of the brow is the right terminology, but like the end of the brow. So I just kind of go out towards the temple. And then this little gap here, I'm just gonna go in and color it in. So I just kind of flick the brush up. And now I'm going in just to comb my brushes down, just to move the hairs out of my way. And I'm going to draw a line parallel to the line I did underneath. And then just attaching the ends. And then fill in the top part. So you can see what happens sometimes with my brows is 
the parts where it has hair takes perfectly and then there's other parts that have no hair and it's just the skin it doesn't take the same the colors vary and the color changes so what i like to do is just go in with like any random brow pencil this one is from nabla it's in the shade jupiter i'm just gonna go over the lighter shades with the pencil so see it helps just even everything out i like to just kind of go in then with the spoolie and just lightly comb everything together and for the front of the brow i get some product on the brush and I just kind of press it onto the skin just to map out my brow. So just like press the flat end just to kind of give me the shape of the brow. And then don't pick any more product up. I'm just going to again flatten it down. I'm just going to flick. So that helps take away that line that we just pressed on. And it still keeps the front of the brow looking nice and soft. And I'll get a little bit more product on the brush. So I'm gonna hold the brush and I'm gonna use the pointy end first. And I'm just gonna flick the hairs up. This is just gonna create the effect of small little hairs. And I go like in the direction that the brow hairs grow. So for me, it just gives it that bit of a softer effect to the brow. Then just to set, I'm going to use my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. So it's just a clear brow gel. And then I'm going to go over it and it will just help hold my brows in place. Ever since I started using this brow gel, like I can't live without brow gel. I never realized I needed it until I started to use it. And it literally does hold my place all day. And there we go, this is how I do my brows. So that is it for my brow video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.